シャッタシャッタシャラララララッタタッタラタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタ1100 subscribers, we are going to 10,000. We're going to be there before you know it. Then it's going to be 100,000, 1 million, and it's taken off. And there's no stopping it, and there's nothing that can be done. <laughs> okay? So you might as well hit subscribe, join the ride, because we're just going to get bigger and better, and we're going to be doing all kinds of crazy things. And I may even leave my apartment. <laughs> I may even leave my apartment one day. So、um, definitely stay tuned for that. But I go down to visit my brother, and on the way, I'm in the airport and I'm hungry. And as a vegan, you know, if you're in the airport and you're hungry, it can be very daunting because you have limited resources, you have limited choices in an airport. You can only eat what's right there. It's not like you can travel all around. And so, and most often when I fly, there aren't many vegan options. Every now and then you find something which is great, and I love that, but you know, you have to dig around a little bit. So here I am in the airport, and you know, I'm hungry. And、um, it's around dinner time. I'm looking around, what am I going to eat? First restaurant I see is called Fresh City. I had never seen it before. I've been in this airport plenty of times, never seen it. It had fruits and vegetables on the sign. It's called Fresh City. So I am just tractor beaming into this place. <laughs> okay, I'm just like, ooh, okay, right in there. So I get in there, they have a tofu wrap, like a tofu burrito. I ordered that, ate it, it was great. I couldn't have been happier. It's like, you know, you just want something to eat, you just want some food to eat, so your cells aren't screaming at you and begging you for sustenance and nutrients. You know, you just want something to eat. I mean, my goodness, you know, but I don't want to eat a dead animal. I don't want to go kill an animal or pay someone to kill an animal so I can eat when I don't have to. It's insane. For me to pay someone to kill an animal so I can satisfy my taste buds, and that's it. That's the only reason I don't need it. It's not like I'm going to die if I don't have it. Look at me. I'm robust. <laughs> okay, so listen,、um, I just wanted some food to eat, some natural, healthy food, and I found it, and I was so happy. And you know, one thing I've learned about myself the more healthy the food that I eat, and the more whole the food I eat, and the more natural, and the more close. To the source of the food that I eat, the less mucus that my body produces. Because when I eat like junk food, my body produces a lot of mucus. And it's like as soon as I'm done eating, I have to go spit because I've got all this mucus that it just builds up. But when I eat vegetables, straight vegetables, like this morning, I had potatoes and vegetables for breakfast. Zero mucus. Zero mucus. Now, if I add anything processed to that, anything processed. My body creates a lot of mucus and boom. So, I'm really, really going to try to stick to the potatoes and the vegetables and the fruits. And,、uh, you know, I, I really want to go whole food, you know, plant based whole food. I eat processed food because, you know, I've been vegan for about three years. And when you first go vegan, you're transitioning. So, I was able to go vegan cold turkey, but I still needed those meat substitutes and those. You know, those, those foods that look like the foods that I was eating, and they taste like the foods that I was eating, but they're not coming from animals anymore. And that's, that was my transition. So I went cold turkey off the animal products, but I still needed the foods that looked and tasted like animal products. Now I'm getting to the point where I don't even want that. I just want the natural whole fruits and vegetables that we're supposed to be eating. I'm telling you, your hands are per. I was watching a, a, a nature show. 
And this guy was walking around. He's in he's in the woods. He's got to survive some kind of survivalist show. And he's walking around, and and you know because I often think you know it's like man you know like if we really are in the wild or you know like finding food you know I mean if you have to grow your fruits and vegetables I mean you know if, if nothing's growing at that time what are you gonna do I mean you may have to kill an animal you know and I would think about that kind of stuff but this guy he was in the wild and he's walking around and he came upon some cattails and he pulled one of the you know the cattails out of the tall grass with the um, long brown thing at the top of him looks like cattails sticking up. Okay, so he came across a whole field of those, and he pulled one up, and he peeled away the root, and he was able to eat the inner, inner part of the uh, root after he peeled away the outer layers. And, you know, he was just so happy, and it was so good, and he was sitting there for about an hour. Well, he said he was going to sit there for an hour and just eat and just gorge on these cattails, and it was a whole field of them. He could never, you know, eat them all. And, and so it made me really realize that, you know, if we're wanderers and we're walking around, then, you know, you're going to find stuff like that. You have to know how to get to it. You have to know what to eat and where to go and stuff like that. But if we lived like that all the time, we would be able to do those things and we would know where to go to eat. And we wouldn't have to kill animals. You just have to learn how to survive off the land. And you have to learn how, you know, to plant stuff and, and how to plant something and move to another area and give it time to grow. And, you know, if we were actually wandering around and letting that process happening happen, you know, absolutely we could survive. Absolutely we wouldn't. I mean... I'm sure there's going to be the rare occasion where you have to do something extreme, but that's just life. That's the exception. There's exceptions to every rule, but our hands are made to peel those fruits and vegetables. We are made to do those things naturally, anatomically speaking. Our, our physiology says we should be eating fruits and vegetables, okay, that you can hold with your hand and eat raw. If you can, if this was a, a, a chicken leg, a raw chicken leg, couldn't do this, but a raw apple? I can do it all day. Okay, so sorry to eat on camera. <laughs> mm, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. So next thing, um, I got the fresh city food. So happy. I get to um, my brother, and uh, we we had a big birthday party for him. And so I had spoke to his wife before I got down there, and she made sure she had some vegan options for me. So she had a um, a um, it was the jackfruit, barbecue jackfruit sandwich and vegan mac and cheese. And it was really good. Really good. It wasn't hungry. No problem. I'm happy. Let's party. Had a good time. The next day, they make breakfast. Okay? They make breakfast. My brother, the consummate carnivore, makes vegan blueberry pancakes for me. Refuses to taste it because it's vegan. My sister-in-law makes the best tofu scramble I have ever had in my life. And I've had tofu scramble quite a few times. I've made it myself. I've bought it in restaurants. I have had tofu scramble. For years I've been eating tofu scramble. This tofu scramble that my sister-in-law made me, who is not vegan at all, was the best I ever had in my life, and she too refused to taste it. Refused to taste it. Here you are making a dish, and you won't even taste it because you're not vegan, because it doesn't have something that it would normally have, or because it's made from a vegetable in a way that you don't normally eat it, so you're not going to even taste it. I'm not telling you to have a whole, a whole dish, but you won't even taste it. That's how closed-minded my family is. <laughs> not my whole family, but these two members for certain. And that's how closed-minded so many people are that eat the standard American diet. They won't even try something that's vegan. And it's not like it's some foreign animal. You know when you're a kid and, and your parents say, oh, you know, try this octopus. And you're like, no, I don't want to eat an octopus. What the hell? That's crazy. Or, you know, you go to some foreign country and they say, hey, these are frog legs. Try these. And you're like, no, I don't eat frogs. Well, you know, th those are animals. Those are animals. And so, you know, you really have to be accustomed to eating an animal to, to continue eating it. If, if somebody tries to introduce a new animal to you, it seems weird. And it's like, no, I wouldn't want to eat that. Like if you go to Asia and somebody offers you dog meat, the average American is going to scoff. They're going to cringe. And they're going to freak out because here in America, we don't eat dogs. 
So, you know, if we were just meant to eat animals, it wouldn't matter what animal you ate. <laughs> okay. But when you're talking about vegetables, what does it matter? It's not it's not like it's an animal with feelings that you bonded with. <laughs> you know, it's, just a, it's just another vegetable or another way of, of making the vegetable. As far as the pancakes, instead of using cow milk, he's using almond milk. And he didn't put any eggs in it. Why wouldn't you want to taste that? Well, you, you're not curious to see what it's going to taste like? I mean, my goodness. I mean, that is the epitome of having a closed mind. The mind is like a parachute. It only works when it's open. You don't even know what you're missing. And it was the best. Let me tell you, I had three servings. Three sir, I was so full. You know, but these two, they can cook. Let me tell you right now. Before I went vegan, I used to eat their food all the time, and it was always amazing. So I know they can cook. But I never had any of their vegan food because they don't make vegan food, you know. But they did this time. And let me tell you, it was the best vegan food I've had in a long time. And they wouldn't even taste it. But I told them, I said, listen, don't even worry about it. You will be vegan one day because they will be. And you too watching this video if you're not vegan already because everybody will be. Because the way that we are behaving right now is unsustainable. So we're going to go vegan one of two ways. Either we're going to go vegan and... Um, on our own, or we're going to be forced to, or we're going to die, and then nobody's not going to be eating nothing, <laughs> okay, we're going to kill the planet and kill ourselves by the way that we manufacture, because of, you know, how we manufacture animals, we're literally killing the planet and killing ourselves, so either that process is going to complete, you know, be complete, and we're all going to be extinct, or we're going to be forced to go vegan because we literally can't do it anymore, or we're going to make the smart choice and go vegan on our own. And so uh, we will be vegan one way or another. And so will my brother and sister. But I'm just saying, it's like, why don't you just at least try it? I mean, Mike, and you know, and, you know, there's kidney stones with them, all kinds of health issues. You would think they would want to start doing the things that would help with those conditions. But no. So, you know, you can lead a horse to water. You can't make him drink. You can't want something more for someone than they want it for themselves. And uh, that's that situation. Uh, later on, we went out to eat. We went to a Japanese steakhouse. And, you know, they cook the food all in front of you on the grill and everything. So we're all sitting around the grill. And so he asked me my order. And I told him I'm vegan. So I don't want any of that butter or anything like that on my food. So he said, okay, well, we're going to have to make yours in the back. And here's my brother now. Why well, you got to be so difficult? Look how difficult it is. First of all. It's a restaurant, okay? They're equipped to handle shit like this, okay? Calm down, <laughs> okay? I mean, you know, relax. Jesus. And secondly, shut the hell up, you know? I'm not telling you what to eat. I should be, you know, that, but that's what my channel is for. So that, that way I don't have to be out there in my everyday life telling people what to eat. But don't worry about what I'm eating. You eat what you eat, and I'll eat what I eat. Okay, I mean, here we are at the table, and, and, and you're running your mouth about my order. Keep yourself quiet. Keep yourself quiet. You need to be watching what I order so you can learn something. But anyway, so, you know, it was just, you know, just so weird. You know, they, they made this amazing vegan meal. They wouldn't even taste it, and then they're talking shit when I go out and order a vegan meal for dinner. You know, it's just all kinds of weird stuff going on. <laughs> okay, but anyway... I had a great time. The food was amazing. And, um, you know, even, you know, going through that, you know, people are going to see you order the vegan option and it's going to stay with them. And maybe one person at that table next time will order the vegan option, too. Maybe they thought twice about they, what they ordered and said, you know what, maybe I should start doing that because the, the food was really good. The food was amazing. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Those vegetables, the noodles, you know, they, they weren't egg noodles. They were so good. They were so, so good. So um, you never know when somebody's watching and you may be affecting somebody's decisions or what they're thinking at that time. So, you know, I think it's definitely, you know, it's even more important probably in a situation like that where you have 20 people sitting around a table and you order that vegan option. Now they're going to say, OK, I have seen somebody eat vegan food while we're out. You know, I have seen it done. It is possible. It's not difficult. I can do it. You know, anyway, this is a long video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a long video. You, you know I can talk. Don't get me started. You know I can talk. But I was gone for a few days, and I wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed. And I have a lot more to share with you also. So make sure you stay tuned. 
hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about anything, and I will see you next time, alright, peace.